So here's the push. Notice there's a logo here. You think it's part of it, it's not there. The logo disappears from right there, right? And so we have the push here, and I wanna recommend one push for you that I do like, and that is the push three. But the push three, that's the controller, not the one with the computer. Stay away from that totally until they actually have the entire software on there and you can do the same thing you can do on your computer as you can do with the controller, which would be standalone. Or you know what I mean, yeah, with the standalone device. So let's go back to here. Let's go to here, next page here I'm gonna go to is like, I'll click right here. And now here's our push. So it's the buy now and who the hell has fingers like this making beats up? That's absolutely nuts. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, let's go back to this. Buy now. I get here. You want to get this push right here. Connect push to your controller. You can do the 64 expressive pads, which is really cool. Uh, Built-in audio interface. That's cool. And add a processor, batteries, and hard drive later using the upgrade kit. I would go with this one right here. Now... I would not purchase this one right here to stand alone. As you know, in my last video, there's no way I'm going to purchase something that's half ass done. There's nothing on here that's been done to make it work perfectly with the software. That's a big no no. You can't do that. If someone says it's standalone, I know it should have the software on the computer and on a standalone, and it should be just totally seamless integration. So I can take the disk out of this thing, the standalone, and pop it in my computer, I got the same thing. That is a beautiful thing if that happens. Because then this push is dope. I mean on a super level. Okay, that's enough about that idea. Now this is a video about the push software. It is made by Ableton Live. It's a demonstration of their product. And I want you to see something here that I've been looking at. Now, there's no logo where it should be above this big knob right here. And I'm gonna take this little line right here. I'm gonna scrub against this entire video. So I'm gonna pull this down somewhat, down in here, and I'm gonna scrub against it. Maybe I'm scrubbing now. So I'm gonna scrub. I want you to notice something. It's in pretty plain. I'm scrubbing along slowly, slow enough. Scrubbing, scrubbing here, scrubbing along here, scrubbing here. I'm going to go to the complete end now, as you can see. And you could do it yourself. This is the overall great video on how to use the machine. Got no problem with the video. Okay, I got to the end right here. Okay. Nowhere in this video do they actually show the logo of Ableton Live and the push. Except in the beginning here, where it comes on. Now, that's probably a pet peeve of mine. People go talking about, why are you going on about that again? This is a sure sign that a company is in trouble and for sale. Or something's up. Something's really up here. Because if you can't show your logo and push it, see that right there? That's the only time you see that. That should be up here in the corner. That should be on the device itself. It's not here on purpose. We believe, me and the crew, they're selling this company. And that the sale of the most expensive one is a money grab for $2,000 and you don't even have the full software it put together. That makes no sense actually from a company that used to be really good. Why would they go and say this is standalone and offer you something that is not complete and saying, yeah, you should spend $2,000 on it. This is weird to me. Now, I know all you guys are going to say, yeah, but it can come later on. It can come later on. Okay, so I just saw that Pro Tools is having problems. They're a pretty much vastly bigger company, these guys, worth a billion dollars. They have done Spider-Man, a whole bunch of movies, guys. They have done a whole bunch of records in the past. Everything they have now is subscription-based. That means if people don't pay for subscriptions, they lose money. 
Apple just went subscription based. This company, Ableton Live, is subscription based mostly. This is a time seven years later after the Push 2 came out to put an item out that is not fully operational and you can't use the arrange view. And why is that? That doesn't make any sense to me. If I got a cup, I'm taking pride in my work. I'm gonna give you a damn good product. And that's the whole point of having a company. If you watch an Apple video, their logo's every damn where. If you watch an Akai video, their logo's up in your face, it's all up there, it's on a device, it's everywhere. Everybody does this because we realize that by the time you've seen the item maybe 20 times, you had either seen someone use it, know someone who's got it, or thinking about buying it yourself, particularly if it's an industry that you're interested in. So, my suggestion is do not buy the computer end of this standalone idea with the push. If you're gonna buy it and you wanna get some of that control expression idea going on with the 64 pads, we suggest you buy just a controller only. Be careful, cause right now I don't know what's going on because the world is changing and people who are making smaller devices are doing better sales wise. And this industry really is about money. It's not about making a great freaking product all the time. It's about paying the bills, keeping the staff together, and you have to have code writers, all that stuff has to happen now. It's a different world, so just be careful. Any questions, hit me in the bottom. Tell me what's going on in your city out there, how the music's happening or whatever, or just say hi to me. I saw the miss you guys out in the States, but you know, I'm here. I'm working on a project. I'm trying to work on something that might be cool, an animation idea. Oh, anyway, I'll check in a few. Peace.